so right on. She's very much to me is like uh, she can throw you off because there's some mystery about her, right? When you see her sure. on the screen, it's something about her that. She's a you, real movie star, Tatum O'Neill. Yeah. <coughs> and, uh, she uh, she uh, took it quite seriously, her work. You and, can uh, tell, you can see that. And she's, you know, you can see like, you know, she's a method actor. You, it's a different approach. Mm -hmm. Actors, we have different ways to, you know, to get into the material. But she was very much in the moment. Yeah, she, she was in the moment, Tatum. I thought she was... Right? You know, yeah, like uh, it's... She was right there. Yeah, she uh, was, um, you know, we had... Uh, Good days and bad <coughs> days, like all of us, uh, as far as uh, the work goes, you know. And but uh, she, at the end of the whole thing, it was all cut together fairly smoothly, yeah. you know. And everybody was very like consistent in their character, and uh, she stayed in character essentially. Yeah. She gave you plenty to work with, and uh, uh -huh. you know. So, and we were very, very lucky to have her. She came on really only a couple of weeks before the um, before, the before we started. Yeah, uh, because she. Um, or uh, the, the, the person we had dropped out of the thing about three weeks before the shooting was supposed uh -huh. to start. And uh, so, t you know, we were looking for someone and uh, Tatum's name came up and I picked her out of... Uh, of course. I said, let's get Tatum. Yeah, of and, course. Um, she was the obvious choice. You know? She was. She She's came present. on board and she uh, like she... Uh, and you know what I like about part. her? <clears throat> that you can see what she's thinking. You know, she's kind of actor like Middle Street. Like a different kind of actor, but you can see the inner thoughts. Yeah, her face and her eyes give give off yeah, a lot. Yeah, so. yeah, it's layers and layers of emotion. You know, she's very subtle. She's a film actor. She's been around, okay. But you can see. On the other hand, I'm not giving you my my critique now, okay. I'm not professional, but I can I can I can give you my opinion, right, oh, Chris? Oh, surely, surely. Um, Chris, uh, Peter Green, Peter Green. He was so relaxed in front of that camera. I cannot even tell you. <laughs> he was so relaxed. He's so confident. And he's, and he's a just, very he's a good comedian too. He's a good comedian. Yeah. Everything <laughs> flows very easy. And you and we feel that flow. I felt it. And Stephen Bauer, I didn't recognize him. I said, Oh my god, he's getting a little too big. <laughs> right? He's lost a few pounds. He lost a few I saw pounds. him I saw him over Thanksgiving. He's looking good. He's uh, doing good. I think he looks great in the film, but he was he was heavy set, a little heavy set. And uh, what about all the actors? I mean, the might... priest, the other lady, I mean, everybody coming. How do you cast all the actors? Auditioning, oh, getting the, the actors. The minister, he was not a priest. He was not, the he was not a Catholic. The minister. The minister. The minister. minister. Chris, you're correcting me now in front of everybody. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, you I was going to say, he was not a Catholic. Chris, this is what I love about this show. <laughs> Baby, we make it happen. You correct me, you fix. I fix whatever I have to fix. I expect the same uh, from you, too. Oh, correct me, please. I, don't have, uh, I, don't have, I cannot direct you. You are the director. <laughs> Where were we? I lost myself. Oh, well, where well, we found the Reverend. Uh, the yeah, Reverend, how uh, you he, found him? He yeah, was so well, cool. You know, all, all the actors, I uh, picked out them out by their face. Okay. And then I went to their resume second. Right. And, but the, the Reverend, uh, Matt Conlon, his name was, he invited me. I saw him uh, do a play, a Horton Foot play called The Chase. Uh -huh. And he was playing like a Texas sheriff in it. And I went to see that probably a week before the film started, before the principal, uh, you know, the photography started. And... Um, he was great. He was really, really a strong actor. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were very fortunate to have him, too. We really uh, came to the job prepared. And uh, What about the boxing scenes? Huh? What, uh, beating up the uh, little uh, the little old uh, the church ladies? Oh, my God. <laughs> you guys, I, and the way that you go back and forth with time, too, Chris, like, you, you know, you are very, your mind is working fast. <laughs> right? Do I you feel have like any, I'm moving in slow motion sometimes. Do you have a a problem translating what's here inside it to the actors. I think the producers, they're still reading this script. They're trying to figure out what's going on. No kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. Maybe I'm kidding a little bit. Yeah, but what I'm saying, it takes time for people sometimes uh, to get, you know, the yeah, work. It was, it was uh, you know, it was a straight movie, but it wasn't. What's the um, message? What's the, what's the premise of the film? What do you want to say with it? Uh, you're putting me on the spot. Oh, now. I I like to put people I on the hope, spot. I uh, hope I hope that uh, anybody uh, can tell me what the uh, what's going what, on. What was your on. like? Let's forget about the cameras, Chris. I was trying to tell a story, and I was really trying to make a. a, a, a it was my stab at making a, a commercial, Hollywood type of a film uh -huh. that like everybody will buy a ticket to come see. Okay. <laughs> Instead of making an art an art movie or something or something that's right. like you know you play in a club or uh, you show your 
your mother and your family or whatever. Because this is a lot of, I, I, I saw a lot of the, the dysfunction with the characters, you know, it's like, it's, it's interesting because what you see is not exactly what you get. And wearing I, disguises, they're all wearing disguises. All of them mm -hmm. were wearing a mask. <laughs> all of them had it, and it's so, I can relate to that. Anybody can relate to that, because I try to be as free as I can, and you know that, okay? But I know that, you know, the stress, that we have to be this way, we have to be that way, that we gotta do this, that we cannot do that. You know, we have to follow patterns of behavior, because we wanna be accepted, we wanna fit in. Okay, and when I saw the film and I saw how you explore different reality with the <laughs> actors and how the characters were like, you know. This was my attempt at fitting in. I don't know uh, how well it worked. Well, <laughs> so I, the jury's I, still it, out it on me. It made sense to me. <laughs> it made sense. It kept me going. Yeah, that's it what I was looking going. to do. Right. So I told these, uh, really, I wanted to make a very, like, a dry type of a comedy. I wanted them to play it very, like, it's very realistic. I didn't want them, to, I told them, I don't want them delivering the stuff like it's punchlines or, uh, uh -huh. like, it's supposed to be the drum beat after it or uh -huh. a laugh track. Uh -huh. It was supposed to be realistic. Right. And, uh, what you know, and the stuff that comes off as funny, uh, you know, if it's written, and I wrote it, I thought it was funny when I wrote it, and it came off kind of flat or not uh, not too funny in the translation. I thought that was a really like a fine thing to yeah. have. And if it, whatever came off as funny uh, is great too. And you know what I liked it that you trying when you were when I was watching it, I was trying to figure things out too. You know, I don't think you give everything just. Oh yeah, and that was the premise of it. We were supposed like a slow disclosure. Like it was supposed to be the stories, like you don't know what's going and exactly. keep people a little off balance. This is a, an issue during the whole edit. Was uh, people are like, oh god, we don't know what's going on. Well, you have to watch. Right. And then maybe uh, you're half an hour into the thing, and maybe a question that was posed early on, you start to see what's going on. You now, do you like to sit close? Oh my God, my knees are showing. Sorry about that, guys. I'm here in action. Okay. Do you like? Do you like? Do you like to sit down with the editor with the final cut? Oh, that's the best part of the whole thing. Okay. Well, I like the shoot. The shooting of it and the actual work was really exhilarating. Right. That's really the best part. It's really right. fun, but it's a lot of tension. Where you get to the cutting room, and that's just a really nice place to be. Right. It's a very laid back. The editors are always great to, to work with. Uh -huh. I, I worked with three or four of them. Yeah, I met thing. one, right? You met uh, Leanda. Uh, Leanda. Yeah. Very beautiful girl. Yeah, good. Uh, she's good very young. Hard she's worker. A hard worker, too. And a uh, really good editor. She had a great eye. Yeah. Good sense of rhythm. Yeah, a and, sense yeah. of rhythm. I love that. Yeah. And it's nice. Uh, it's uh, nice communicating with the editor, too. You barely have to speak to each other. No, do you see that I was looking camera number two for a moment and when I got out of it? And for some reason, I felt that the, the camera was out of focus for a moment. You see, but that's okay. You see that? <laughs> it's camera number two. It's way too late. I think it's my eyes. We, <laughs> it's not 301. <laughs> it's not Melissa. And it's not my boy right there. It's the camera who they're operating right from the It looks from like the I'm control. operating it. Yeah. It looks like a little, right? Or it's just me. What is the tea? I'm having some sleepy uh, tea because for my, tea, my yeah. still here. I know I'm still here, <laughs> but it pretty much you know it's, it's like all coming in real. It's all real time we're in. Oh, crazy! <laughs> Do you feel the time? No, no, it's Do flying. You? It's flying Do you around. feel any stress? Any tension? Me? No, not, not, not no, at all. Are you no. happy? I'm. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> I'm pretty ha yes. happy to be sitting here with you anyway. Yeah, see, you know we, uh, and me, you and me, we hit it off. Oh, we, we hit it off. Oh, sure, sure. Right? Yeah, I you think so. knew. I like that. Convinced myself of that anyway. Right, but she's not that crazy. You say, oh, she's, she's a crazy girl. I know what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, it shows. It shows? You're a little zany. You're not real crazy, though. Not a little bit? Just a little bit? No? A little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm not intimidated, right, Chris? No, you're a pleasure to be around. You put everybody at ease around you. They'll love you. Yeah, I have a wonderful team. I, I You know, I, I've been working so hard, Chris, and um, to make this happen every week so much work and um, you cannot do it alone you just can't you need your people with you and you need your people and yeah. you're grateful and you have to treat them right treat people the way you want to be treated yeah I tried to I really had to have a lot of backing on this film and I had a lot of people uh, 
standing by me throughout it because uh, it did have its ups and downs to production. Right. And uh, yeah, I had a lot of support from a lot of people uh, yeah. carrying my. Uh, what about your mother? Your me. mother? I want to talk about your mother. <laughs> my mother. You see, we got about five <laughs> minutes to go. I want to go back in time. Should I lie down for that? <laughs> can we please? Can you do that? I can pay Mr. Freud. Like, I love that line in Titanic. Do you remember? Uh, do you, have you seen Titanic? We got three minutes. When, when the remember, guy says, I'd like to remember, I remember. When the guy remember. says, ah, oh, is uh, he mentioned Freud, and the other guy says, <laughs> who's that? A passenger? <laughs> <laughs> a passenger? Come on, give me a break. Your mother, she's beautiful, Barbara. Barbara. Okay, she was the one, right? Going back in time when you were growing up and you were watching movies. Uh, she was uh, there from early on. <laughs> right. She I remember was her there. from way back, you know, mom. Yeah. Yeah, mom. We all uh, watched some movies together. We uh, sat and watched Psycho quite a bit. Yes, you told me which that. Which I, you know, I used um, in this. I told both the uh, um, uh, Tatum uh -huh. and uh, Scott Winters, the uh, man playing the Mayor Ward part. Mm -hmm. I told them both to think about Norman Bates when they approached their smart character. Smart thinking. You're smart. And then lo and behold, we got to the one set, and the guy was a taxidermist too. So we had stuffed birds in the place too. So it really gave it the. Uh, uh -huh. I knew I was on the right track. You got it. Yeah. You got it. But I, uh, because I want, I like always to go back in time and see about the, you know, the upbringing, your brother, yeah, 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 your I family. Know. You know, to me, yeah, it, it's, it's all a nice family helping yes, me out all the way. Of course, they believe in you. I was the baby. You're the baby. They love you. Let me ask you something. Oh, why you roll up your eyes like that, Chris? We got two minutes to go. I can't believe it. Was it was involuntary. Oh, Chris, I forgot what I was going to ask you because I looked my boy with a two minute. Oh, man, I can't believe it. I, I want my thoughts. Okay, let me concentrate. Hold on for a second. Where were we? Oh, anything. We're talking about my I mother. I wanted to ask you we're something. We're talking about psycho. No, we're talking about your mother. And, oh, are you psycho. easy? I, yeah, <laughs> I got it. A little humor. Are you easy? To get I along used half, with? Of her, half of her lines were in the film. I borrowed uh, a lot of her material, in fact. Okay, good. Is she happy about it? Um, she hasn't seen it yet. But she will. She saw the trailer. And she liked it. She's thrilled to death. Good. Well, she should be. Yeah. This is a big deal. Okay, her boy's in Hollywood. The what? <laughs> her boy went Hollywood. Yes. She's 81, too, so. It's a huge She's deal. happy for me, yeah. I'm so happy for you. I'm very proud of you. I want to wish you the best with this film, man. Thank you, sissy. Go everywhere. <laughs> knock yourself out. <laughs> My regards to every single actor out there who's fighting for the dreams, guys. And please. We'll, be we'll be back here together, Sam, uh, next week. Yes. <laughs> yes. We're going to keep doing. A hi to everybody, to my producers, Charles, Alex, Romero, Joe Santana, Jabari in the control room, <laughs> Ginger Broderick, Melissa. Melissa, I got it right. Melissa. Melissa Gray and Quelly Washington, my boy. They Don't put it off. Through. We put it off. You see, it's the first time on camera, these people. And look at him. Are you doing impressed or what? They're doing a great job. It's a great they did a great job. They, yeah, yeah. they pulled it off. They made me look good without red lights. But you look good without red lights <laughs> and without red lights. Look at you, Chris. I just wanted oh, to look. tell you that I want to be in the final cut. I want to be in the editing room next time that you edit something. I have a good eye, too. And I know about You're welcome, about You're welcome in any, any editing room. Okay. I'm in. You're more I, than welcome. I, I'm good with editing. I have a good eye. I we saw talk you about working this. these guys back here. I saw you working. Oh, uh, yeah. And you haven't, <laughs> man, you haven't seen me upstairs. When I go upstairs, <laughs> and I sit down, and I pad my headphones, and I just start. Uh, I'm obsessive with the work. Are we still on? Yeah. We're gone? Are we still here? We're out? Wow. <laughs> Time goes off. You can't. It is fast. It is fast, man. It's fast. It was fast watching every week, too. Uh, one of the weeks I was up here it with goes, Richie and stuff, I was like this. It's 25 after. I'm like, my yeah, God. Yeah, it's done. Are you happy? Oh, <laughs> you know, I hope I didn't roll my eyes uh, too much and, uh, you know, I hope it all came no, off okay. No, a couple you know? times at the you end. Were great. You were <laughs> Jabari, my boy, what makes you happy? Besides your wife. It's hard not to smile when I see you talking to people because you are so full of life. Oh, Jabari. Man, it, it, isn't that true that you, that we are each other?